With good news for today from Baptist Press, I'm Brandon Porter. Christian band Skillet released a new album that lead singer John Cooper said represents a positive rebellion against forces influencing Christians to live in fear. The album, titled Dominion, is the 11th studio release for the highly successful rock band. It was written during the COVID-19 pandemic. In addition to music, another of Cooper's passions has come to the forefront over the past few years, that is standing up and speaking out about the truth of the Bible and the gospel. For a variety of reasons, Cooper has become more vocal about Jesus and his Christian values. He said a Hollywood agent approached the group recently to ask them to consider speaking less about Jesus so they would become more of a mainstream band. Cooper said that isn't going to happen for the group as they're committed to talk about Jesus in everything they do. He says the songs for the new album were written over Zoom and each band member would record their parts from their home studios and then send them to a producer who put the songs together. Skillet is one of the bands on the popular Winter Jam Tour making its way across America this winter. For 40 years, Ken Sparks coached and led thousands of young men on football fields in East Tennessee. Over that time, his impact led to wins and championships, but also innumerable lives changed for the gospel through the man referred to as the Billy Graham of coaches. Sparks, the Ken Sparks story, continues in theaters this week, telling of the longtime Carson Newman University coach who died in 2017. For 37 years, Sparks led the Eagles to five national championships and a 338 win, 99 loss, and two tie record. He retired all-time fifth in NCAA wins. In that time, he was also highly involved in the Fellowship of Christian Athletes and an active member of Manly Baptist Church in Morristown, Tennessee. Learn more about the documentary at sparksdoc.com. When we come back, we'll tell you one of the most important things you can do for your pastor. Stay with us. Good News for Today is made possible through our friends at The Voice of the Martyrs, a nonprofit organization that serves persecuted Christians around the world. Founded in 1967 by Richard and Sabina Wormbrand, VOM is dedicated to inspiring believers to deepen their commitment to Christ and to fulfill His great commission, no matter the cost. Find out more and sign up for their free monthly magazine at vom.org slash goodnews. Thanks for listening to Good News for Today. Texas Baptist leader Matt Hensley recently shared a few ways church members can pray for their pastor. He asked them to pray for their pastor's family, pray for their pastor's schedule, pray for their pastor's sermon preparation, pray for their pastor's preaching, and pray for their pastor's personal walk with God. You can read this article and many more at baptistpress.com. I'm Brandon Porter. Thanks for listening.